So this is a question. I'm not making statements. But my question is: uh, Do we have these uh, actually uh, 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 you know, possibility of solving the conflict, Armenia or Azerbaijan, if there is another escalation of the war? Or because the price of it, there will be much more uh, people who will die because Armenia and Azerbaijan were not just limited their time. I mean have been uh, militarized and also every time Azerbaijan was investing in weapons there was some other countries which would just give us a present weapons to Armenia so there is some interest and we don't know it's not a transparent region we don't know what kind of weapons where are they going and who has more weapons it's actually a big question there so uh, and uh, so my point is what, what I'm thinking about is not actually um, how we are using this time? How let's let's say that next 20 years this conflict will not be solved. So if it's not going to be solved because the situation is so difficult, how we want to use this time? Do you? Because I think for 18 years of talking and doing nothing for Armenia and for Azerbaijan, it was I think waste of time. So I don't want as a citizen of Azerbaijan to waste another 20 years. Of, because uh, in Azerbaijan, so much resources, energy, and thoughts of people are directed on the problem, which actually many can argue doesn't have a immediate solution. Um, and uh, to be honest, is any solution possible right now uh, for Armenia and Azerbaijan? Uh, for me, it's a big question mark. I think not that, with this government. Uh, uh, many things also develop, uh, also depend. And here I'm coming to the first question. Uh, if uh, Armenia and Azerbaijan both have uh, economic and democratic development, if they can take their societies out of uh, stagnation, out of authoritarianism, and came to a level, let's say, next 10, 20 years, where we're going to have uh, open societies, vibrant societies, where uh, the, our economies would be um, integrated into world economies, because it's a big question to what degree Azerbaijan economy is integrated into the world economy if you don't talk about oil and gas. Or the same with Armenia. I mean, how sustainable is Armenian economy? Uh, and how independent is Armenian elite actually in controlling 